African elephant reintroduction has increased in parks in South Africa despite it being a controversial method of conservation. This method reduces large herd sizes and creates more widespread range, restoring other populations. However, there have been problems once the elephants are moved, with behavioural issues, most likely due to a high increase in stress hormones. With early reintroductions, more than 100 rhinos were attacked by young bulls. This was linked with abnormally high testosterone levels. Females have also been showing aggression and have killed people in the last four reintroduced populations. Understanding how the stress hormones are being triggered and how to keep them at normal levels will help conserve not just the elephants reintroduced, but other species that may be affected by them. A recent study was conducted looking into the cause of the spike in stress hormone concentrations, focusing on temporal, climactic and social factors. This study was carried out over an extended period of time to look at the long-term physiological responses. This was measured by taking faecal samples and extracting faecal glucocorticoid metabolites with higher concentrations showing increased stress levels. The longevity of elevated stress hormones in reintroduced populations have not previously been studied in detail. This study shows that elephants need a long period of time to acclimatize to a new area. The concentrations of stress hormones has been linked to a number of factors, mainly resource availability, human disturbance, and hunting. If family groups are kept together when relocating, this can help keep stress levels down as a big difference was shown between disturbed family groups and those kept together. Long-term monitoring helps to observe the fluctuating stress hormones and keep abnormal behaviour in check. For future reintroductions, it must be known that this is a long-term issue and must be continually monitored so as to keep elephant attacks at a minimum in future populations. These measures can increase reintroduction success and help decrease the chances of aggressive behaviour, thus bettering the cause of human-wildlife conflict.